Hi, this is Don from LogMeIn. I'm here to introduce our new Click to Fix functionality in our LogMeIn Rescue Plus mobile product. I'll give you a demonstration starting by generating a new session. You can generate a PIN code directly, send an email with a link, generate a link, or send an SMS directly to a mobile device. In this case, we're going to send an SMS, and I'm going to flip over to a mobile device and, and show you what it's like on the end user side. We're now looking over the shoulder of the end user. A message is received, so we'll go into the message center to have a look at the SMS. Within the message is a link that will take me directly to Google Play, or in this case, it will pass through a URL first and then launch into Google Play. Once we're in the market, it will take me directly to Rescue Plus Mobile for Android. We install the application and accept the permissions. After a few seconds of download time, simply need to open the application the first screen I see is some general information about what the application does. As soon as I hit the continue button, I'm prompted for a six digit PIN code. The technician generated this PIN code earlier and can communicate directly to the end user. A secure connection is now being made between the end user's device and the technician's console. The technician will prompt the end user for permission to allow them to remote control and diagnose in a variety of ways. Once this permission is given, we'll go back to the technician's console. As we head back over to the technician's console, we're going to get our first look at the click to fix interface. Right off the bat, click to fix is going to generate a whole bunch of information about the mobile device it connects to. The red alert bar at the top of the screen is going to alert the agent to some of the most common issues found on mobile devices. Here, for example, we see some issues with applications and with firmware. We even have the opportunity to push a link that could potentially update the existing firmware. One of the most common tools used for mobile support is device view and remote control. We're going to pull a tear away to actually use remote control for this particular device. We can click on a setting screen and navigate around the device as if we were holding it in our hands. All of the hard and the soft buttons work. Here we're going to use the whiteboard functionality to draw on the device and draw attention for the end user to a specific area. We also have the use of a laser pointer, screen recording and screen capture, and other tools that might be needed during a support session. Let's close this tearaway and have a look back at the click to fix interface. We have this section for mobile networks. Mobile networks center section generates some general information about the network that the device is connected to, and there's a one click fix button that will allow me to push network settings immediately back down to the device. These settings tend to be predefined by an administrator. The battery information gives me some general information about the battery, but then it also allows me to push some quick fixes for some of the most common battery issues. I can turn off radios, I can turn on automatic brightness, I can make the display timeout sooner, and I can push those settings with a single click right down to the device. In the connections section over here, I see I have a button for each of the main radios in the device. GPS, Bluetooth, I can toggle those on and off. I can see what the Wi-Fi connection is, and I could turn the Wi-Fi connection on and off as well. If the Bluetooth was connected, I'd see what those Bluetooth devices were. In the system section here, I have various information about the firmware, the baseband number, the build number, and some general information about the SD card and even the IMEI number. As we move down here, I have this functionality for web shortcuts. Here I can push an icon down to the home screen of the device, and that icon will actually link directly to any URL predefined by an administrator. In this case, I pushed a link that will take me right to the My Account page of a popular carrier. Follow this link, it'll launch my browser and take me right to that My Account page. This can be really useful as a leave behind after a session is over. If I want to launch a URL immediately, I can actually type one right in this direct URL section, and I can push that URL to the device to launch directly in the browser. One of the nice things about this functionality is I also have the ability to have predefined URLs that I use quite often, and I can push those to the device, and it also after, after I launch any URL, this section will also remember the last, U, uh, the last several URLs I sent 
and I can access that from the memory. One of the most exciting functionalities in the Click to Fix is our Quick Nav section. Quick Nav lets me have very quick navigational shortcuts to some of the most common settings screens. By pushing any of these buttons, it quickly brings me to that standard Android screen. There are four displayed on the screen right now, including Google Play, but in actuality, if I click on this More button at the bottom, I have 17 different navigation shortcuts I can use. On the right side here, I can pin any of these directly to that section of the screen. So that way I have access to the most common shortcuts that I need in a support se session. Overall, the Quick Nav section will allow a technician to go immediately to the sections they need to solve some of the most common issues on mobile devices. Additional functionality that still exists behind click to fix are the traditional tools such as File Manager and System Information. We have some exciting new stuff with System Information under the Processes and Applications screen. In Processes, you can select a process and actually end that process while it's running directly from this part of the console. Under the Applications section, you can choose an application and you can uninstall it right from here or launch that application in order to open it on the device. As an example, let's launch the calculator. We'll go back over to the Click to Fix tab and we can see the calculator has launched. Aside from system information, we have the traditional device configurations for Wi-Fi and APN settings. We can pull what the existing Wi-Fi connections are, make the changes we need, and push them to the device. I've navigated back over to the Click to Fix tab so I can show you the device view while I end a session. I'll tell the end user to go to the top right corner of their screen and click that button in order to disconnect the session. They'll be prompted one final time and as soon as they hit yes, the session is ended. From the technician's perspective, they can go into the queue and hit the red X to completely close out the session. Thank you for taking the time to review the new and exciting click-to-fix functionality.